I'm overwhelmed, and you know, I've often been overwhelmed here and not said it, and maybe it's because I've had three beers. I don't know what that cutoff is, but while I was listening to everybody here tonight, and you know, it's post Thanksgiving, and I just thought like, damn, I am gonna testify to something tonight. Uh, you know, a little straight from the heart and soul. Uh, I am so happy and grateful to be here. This is my church. I don't know how many of you feel the same way, but I stopped going to church a hell of a long time ago because, you know, 12 fucking years of Catholic indoctrination was just <laughs> one toke over the line. More than one toke over the line. A hell of a lot of toes over the line. So, done with that, done with that. Yeah, I did go to Notre Dame, Our Lady. And, you know, that's, uh, you know, that just was a whole lot of like, you know, What's the word I want? What is the opposite of think? Uh, like, you know, repression, suppression, you know, confession, all of that shit. And, you know, it took a long time to get over that. So this is my main place to bear my soul, hear other people doing the same thing, and be honestly overwhelmed at the talent that I bear witness to. And I want to give big thanks, props, to Philip yes. for doing this for everybody. You know, how many years? And I don't know if you all know how I met Philip, but um, I wandered into this little joint on McDougal Street. What was it, four years ago? I've lost track of time. The old gaslight. Yeah, the old gaslight. While I was out looking for envelopes, my main thing, I have, I'm, I'm also a fine artist. I went to fucking art school for four years. I was the most serious artist, you know, like, ever. Mm -hmm. And um, for four years straight, and then all of a sudden I started writing and whatnot. What is this? This is for Phil. This is for Phil. Okay, this is for Phil. We're going to crack it open tonight. What? Anyway, long story short, I went from being the most serious visual artist to starting like, wait, I'm having weird dreams. What the hell's Bob Dylan doing in my dreams? Yada, yada, yada. And I started writing things down and keeping journals like crazy. And the next thing you know, it's like, come to Greenwich Village, Janet, you know, go to an open mic. What are you, crazy? Okay, all right, well, I'm nervous, I'll try that, what the hell. And um, so that was, that was a long time ago, and the first open mic I did was at Folk City, and I stood at Folk City like this. I'm the daughter of the water, I came in on a wave, for a ride to the tide, whatever. And I was so fucking nervous, but I made myself do it, and that was the beginning of, I did that for a long time in the 80s. Hold on, wait a minute, thank you very much. In the 80s, I wrote and I wrote and I hung out and I went to this, this open mic and that open mic and I met all these people and it was like, okay, I guess I'm not so much of a visual artist anymore. That fell by the wayside. It was So I've gone through these circles of you know orbits in my life. So many years, like it's nothing but visual art and then you know the muse calls me back. Come on, come on, get out there, shoot your mouth off, bitch, shoot your mouth off. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll try it. Anyway, Philip uh, was in the basement of this place on McDougal Street. I was out buying envelopes to fill an order for blank note cards. That's my business, by the way, I'm still doing that. And, you know, it's like one of these things, how many, how many lovers can you have at any one time? Uh. I'm like, all the while I'm doing the visual art, I'm totally, you know, I don't know my voice. I'm like, so individuals, I don't know my voice. And then all of a sudden something calls me out. So, I uh, wandered downstairs, I said, here's Philip with, uh, what's his name, Michael, what's his Kevin. name? Yeah, Kevin. July 27th, you know, 2014. Oh my God, you know, and Murph was there. And I wandered in there and, um, I'm there like, oh Christ, I don't know, I don't have 10 bucks to spend and, you know, to hang out anymore. I'm, I'm buying envelopes. I've got to fill this order. And Philip's there like, eh, hang out, what the hell. And I just thought, well, it's a cool guy. All right, it's been a long time, Janet. What are you doing here anyway? What the hell, give it a shot. So I went and sat myself down, you know, on a park bench, and I tried to remember something I did, you know, years ago. And I thought, well, okay, I can get over with that. And it was E. coli blues, 
Michael Schwartz. And, and speaking of E. coli blues, I wrote this song about, it was a true story, about puking after having food poisoning. And I had it once again the same time Michael had it. So we had a conversation about that. So because of Philip saying, ah, come on down, and Murph buying me a drink, it was like, oh shit, I guess I gotta get back to doing this again. You know, so I've been on and off and on and off and on and off, and otherwise I'd be sitting in front of my computer playing with Photoshop, you know, till the end of time, having a great time, unless there was somebody to say, get your ass out here and shoot your mouth off, please. Thank you very much. So, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, God bless you. I am so uh, honored to be here and part of it and enamored of all of the talent I get to hear. Thank you very much. Woo! Thank you, Dad.